In this example, we want to prove that sine plus cosine quantity squared plus sine minus cosine quantity squared is equal to 2. And so to begin, we're going to start with our first term, and we're going to square this, sine plus cosine times sine plus cosine. And if you FOIL that out, the first term is going to be squared, so that gives us sine squared, plus we're going to have a sine times cosine plus a sine times cosine, so that's 2 sine cosine, plus our last term squared will give us a cosine squared. Then for our next term, we're going to square out sine minus cosine quantity squared, and it's going to give us sine minus cosine times sine minus cosine will be sine squared minus 2 sine cosine plus cosine squared. And so that's all on our left side, and then we're trying to prove that this equals 2. So if we go through and we combine like terms, we have a sine squared and a sine squared. So that's going to be 2 sine squared. We have a 2 sine cosine and then a negative 2 sine cosine, so those are going to cancel out. And then we have a cosine squared plus a cosine squared, so that's going to be 2 cosine squared. And again, we are trying to prove that this is equal to 2. So we're trying to make the left side equal the right side. On the left, we can factor out a 2, and that will give us sine squared plus cosine squared. And that's our first Pythagorean identity. Sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. 2 times 1 is 2. And we made the left side of our equation equal the right side of our equation.